What's going on guys? Chaos here, bringing you guys another video. Today I'm bringing you guys the final piece to our tight doubles mini scheme. It's a really, really good scheme and the play today is awesome. It literally recreates Pat Sale from Bunch and it's it's really good, man. It's really good. You get great blocking from it. You can max pro. Um, the pat, Honestly, the post might even be better than the Pat Sale post. I feel like it gets to a better spot to be completely honest with you with our setup. You'll see in that today. Um, so you get excited for that, but also man, I've been recording a ton of gameplay videos, so I have a ton of backed up great games versus very good players for you guys, so be excited for that. And then next week, I actually have probably the best six-man blitz in the game coming to you guys. It's going to be incredible. I'm telling you guys, it's the most consistent six-man blitz in the game that I've personally seen. Uh, five twos are really good seven-man blitz um, versus Max Protect, but this six-man is actually really good as well. Um, so we have that coming next week, so be looking, be looking out for that. Uh, but if you guys haven't seen the previous videos on the mini scheme, I'll put them up in the cards uh, above me. Actually, it might be over here. Not sure. Top right corner. Check that out. Um, those are really good videos as well. But if we get 200 likes on this video, I'll be super hyped, man. So please, man, continue to support the way you guys have been. I really appreciate you guys. I have a lot of good stuff coming, so please drop that like button and show some support for you. Boy, I really appreciate you guys. You guys have been doing incredible. Our ratio of likes to views has been impeccable. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. And I'm going to leave some timestamps for you guys because it might be a little bit on the longer side. But I'll leave the timestamps for you guys for the three different setups because it's going to be a cover three. Be well, first, it's going to beat every coverage. Literally going to beat every coverage. Then it's going to be a cover three beater. And uh, there's a max protect and a non max protect version. So there's three there's three setups. So let's get it. All right, boys. So let's jump into this, man. Enough time wasted. Let's get this thing done. The play today is tight curl out of the gun tight doubles and Pittsburgh Steelers playbook. Um, first and foremost, we're just gonna run cover two on defense. As always, that's always where I start with. And. Uh, it's gonna be there's gonna be two different setups for it. One's a max pro setup and one. Actually, three setups. One's a max pro, one's sending four out, and the other one is going to be sending four out as well, but one of them is the running back, one time is the tight end. So three different setups. I'll just show you guys the max pro first. It's really easy. We're just going to fade Y, max pro, fade Y, and we're going to hitch hill. Now, we're going to motion Conley over to the right. You can let him set, or you can just let him motion. If they're not pressing, I usually let him set. Uh, but if they're pressing, I'll usually hike it while he's on the move so he doesn't get like a super press animation. Um, but since I'm not pressed right now, I'll just motion over and let him set. This post right here is just like Pat Sale. It's just as good. It's literally the exact same route. It's so good. Now, you're going to see on the, the space on the field that it gets to, and it's going to beat everything. So I'm just going to show you guys this route over and over again and show you guys how good it is. You guys see that unbelievable place that it gets to on the field. I'm going to go to the replay real quick. It gets so far over the cloud. The fade pushes the deep half so far back. It's just such an open open spot. So see how see how shallow this cloud is, and look how deep this this post gets. Look how much space that is. That's like not even close. It's so good. So you want to run into the wide hash. That's always the best place to use it. Uh, baseline here. So I'm not pressed again. I'm just gonna show you guys the exact same thing again. Show you guys how I'm just gonna show you guys how clear it gets. I'm not gonna show it too many times, but I want to show you guys a couple of times just to show you how consistent it is. Bam! You see right there, wide open, nothing they can do. Make sure you're running it with on the right hash. Okay. So now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put deep quarters out there, and I'm gonna press. Actually, sorry, I'm not gonna press the left side because I already motioned him over and I want him to move. But I'll do it on the move on the next play. Um, I'll put this guy over here so we have a cloud flat from the nickel and uh, pressed deep quarter. I should move this guy back so I don't get pressed. So you guys can see here, a cloud flat, which is the deepest flat zone we can get with a deep quarter pressed, which is like the best you can do on stopping crossers and stuff like that. So we're gonna do the exact same thing. And you're gonna see here, it's gonna get underneath the deep quarter over the cloud. Perfect spot every time. It's unbelievable. And you're max protecting, so you're gonna have a ton of time in the pocket a lot of the time. So now I'll do it on the move just so you guys can see that. So I'll baseline press here. Deep quarter, cloud, okay? So you guys see that? Now I'm gonna do it on the move just to show that you guys can do it. So I did it before he sets. He doesn't get pressed. And perfect pocket on the field. 
It's really, really difficult to stop, guys. So you guys get that. Um, it's going to beat everything, right? So I'm going to show you guys what the other thing is for. So motion over here, let them set. So why does he go to a deep quarter? I'm going to go to spy. All right. So right here, what I'm going to do with the hitch is I'm going to I'm gonna blitz first. So like act like they're sending six. And I'm going to show you guys just how quick of a read, like just a hot read this, this hitch is. If they blitz you, oh, let me hit this hitch. Okay. So that's the first thing you can do with it, right? Here's the second thing you can do with it. Baseline here. It's fine. Yeah, good. I'm gonna playmaker it to the right now, since they have a, excuse me, since they have the cloud. And since the, I'll show you on the replay here, the post carries the cloud back, and you can playmaker to the right. Now, if they have a hard flat, this won't work. But if they have a cloud. You playmaker it out there, see how he gets carried by the post here. And you just playmaker it out. And you pick up your free six, seven, eight yards, right? And then another thing that you can do is playmaker it up. So this is this one's tougher to pull off. I'm not even gonna guarantee that I'm gonna be able to do it. Just because it's hard to replicate in practice mode when you're in a game, all the different adjustments they're making. So they probably wouldn't have like like say they say they man this guy here and that's not even gonna guard it but say they did that like I'll show you here now try to make this try to pull this off so I play maker up and you see like I didn't catch it but that's part of the reason is the mid read there so like I'm gonna I'm gonna try to, I'm trying to recreate a game situation not the easiest thing to do just because I can't recreate a user um, I'm just gonna act like this guy's man to Y and then this is the user and he's gonna use the past sale post okay I'm gonna to try to do something else with the user on the next play and show you guys something. So first I'm gonna show you that this works. I man the wrong guy. I'm an absolute clown. <laughs> Jeez, my bad. I'm struggling right now, boys. I'm struggling. This is the user, so I'm man on the post. My bad. Man the wrong guy. Don't judge me, boys, don't judge me. Okay, we're gonna try to pull this off. So we're pretending that the user's going with the post and with the right outside linebacker they may end up Y from maybe from what, like other plays we were running. Okay? You playmaker this B up and I get shitted. Man, this oh, Don't do it guys. Don't do it. Oh my goodness, I will spaz. Nah, I'm just kidding. Alright, we're gonna pull this off here. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it happen, alright? First we're gonna spy this guy. This is the user, he's manned on the post, and then for some reason they manned up Y or whatever, okay? Now, I'm gonna try to pull this off one more time. There we go. So, something else you could do. Now imagine they, so if I see a cloud, I probably should've put a hard flat. Maybe I'll do it one more time. If they have a cloud flat, just playmaker them to the right, right? Because it's getting carried by the post. Now I'm imagining they have a hard flat, you playmaker straight up. So I'm actually gonna recreate it one more time. Sorry, this is bad prep by me, guys. It's bad prep, but you know what? Sometimes it's good for the process. To be honest with you guys, it helps you guys learn how to make reads, right? I feel like it's actually kind of helpful for real. So we're not even gonna worry about it. All right, nope. Okay, now, what the, yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. So we're shaded down, so we have hard flat, so we would not play maker right this time, right? Now we're gonna play maker straight up, and you're gonna see how open it gets against the hard flat. Right there. Okay, perfect. So since they played hard flat, I didn't want to play maker right. I wanted to play maker up. Sorry about that. Sorry about the process we just went through. However, I'm gonna not cut it because I know a lot of people, YouTubers might have cut that, but to be honest with you, it helped you learn it. Um, because you can see where you could playmaker it. It actually ended up working out better. So we're going to leave it. I don't even care. Um, next thing here. Now I'm going to man up the hitch. Okay? But I'm going to draw a picture for you guys in the replay section. This is important. Okay? So just bear with me on this. You're going to see it in the replay. Hopefully I get some blocking and we can make this happen. But it's going to be good. Trust me. Okay? Now he's going to be manned up, but I'm going to playmaker him. But we're gonna imagine he's not manned up. 
And I forgot to play the, the hard flat again, but. I'm gonna draw this picture for you. It doesn't matter that I didn't play hard flats. So, here's the picture, okay? You have your hitch and your post. This is the user, right here, okay? Now, he's gotta pick between this hitch and this post, right? So he's kinda lurking in between early on, okay? He's lurking in between, he's lurking in between. Imagine I'm not being stuck right here. Imagine him being like right here. This is the user, okay? Then, now he's on the post. He doesn't want you to he doesn't want you to get this post in the middle of the field because honestly we could throw the post right now in this little pocket. So he's standing probably about right here. You playmaker the hitch up, he breaks off this post back to the hitch. Because you playmaker it up and it's gonna be wide open. Imagine this flat's in a hard flat. You playmaker the hitch straight up, he breaks back to it, and then you throw the post. I know I can't recreate it with the user, because I don't have one. I'm on both controllers, but just imagine him playing in between, posting the hitch, and right when you playmaker it up, he breaks back off this post, back towards the hitch to take that away, thinking he's gonna bait you on a, on a pick, and you throw that post across the middle. Now, if they don't break back, I'm gonna do it one last time. Now, I'm gonna play hard flats this time, make it clearer. Um, if they don't break back, you can wait on it. I'm gonna show you how long you can wait so that you can see that what you're really looking for is the user. If he's playing that post and you playmaker the hitch up, you're waiting to see, okay, is he gonna break back? Is he gonna break the back? And then he gets to the point where he's followed the post so long, he can't break back anymore. So I'm gonna show you guys how long you can wait on this. I got shed in. Great. It's okay. You guys can kind of see it there, but we're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna do it one more time. I wanna show you, show you guys how long you can wait. I didn't shade down, but it doesn't even matter. You guys see? It gets to the point where he can't break back anymore because actually it was perfect. It didn't even matter, I didn't play the hard flat. Watch. So I play back this straight up. Watch the user, watch the user, watch the user. You're watching him. You're literally just standing here watching him. Is he gonna leave this post or not? And the longer he waits, the longer you cannot like there's so much space because every every deep blue zone is pushed so far back. He can't break back anymore. You can throw this. You just throw it, right? And you can see the ball gets there. Now, if he does break back, then you just throw this. So that's why this play is so good, and you can maneuver the user so much. Now, I've shown enough of that. You guys get that. We're going to jump into how you do it without Max Pro. Really simple. Um... This part, this play, this this part of the play is really, really easy. Um, all you're gonna do, same setup. If you, you just want to add the drag to the tight end, because since they're playing clouds, you can just pick up free five, six, seven, eight yards. I'm not gonna show you much of this this setup, and it's literally the same exact thing. Um, it's really for if they're blitzing. I like this better than Max Pro, simply because. If they're blitzing, you have two reads they have to pick really quickly. So if I say they're blitzing here, blitzing here, right? So they're sending six. They have to pick between the hitch and the uh, and the drag. So I'm gonna man up the hitch and we're gonna quickly throw the drag. You see the user pick hitch, you take your drag, get up field, whatever. Then if they pick drag, you throw the hitch. Really the only reason why I mixed that drag in, to be honest with you, not much else. It's not really that, like, it doesn't make the play that much better because the hitch is so good from before. And if they pick drag, you take hitch. Real simple, not gonna make the video longer than it needs to be, so we're done with that. Now, the cover three beat, the cover three beater, okay? You can do whatever you want outside of this. Um, you can block, just keep the tight end blocked. You can do whatever with B, you can keep the hitch, whatever. Okay. Um, as long as they, if, as long as they don't deep quarter over here, if they keep their, their deep third, or if they uh, play sticks, it probably won't follow either. I haven't tested against play sticks because I don't even know if people still did that or not. I usually just make it a deep quarter. But if they don't deep quarter, he's going to follow the post, and your wheel route from your running back is going to be a touchdown. Jeez, baby, block for me one time. Come on. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. We'll try this again. He 
you see he's gonna follow it and I mean you can't make a video anymore guys let's just take a second just to reminisce about how hard it is to make a good YouTube video anymore with no mistakes in it I'd have to cut a million times <laughs> it's ridiculous okay so uh, recover three again now this is usually a touchdown but if, if not it's huge gain just depends on how far he follows the pass sale post and how fast your running back really is but you guys see it it's gonna cover the he's gonna follow that post every single time and it's f literally free yards um, show you one more time here and you guys see it so We'll test right now just to see if play sticks works because I really don't know if it'll stop it or not. Play sticks and we'll see if it stops it. And it does, but your post is still a laser. Hope you guys enjoyed, man. I know it was a decently long video, but I really think it was really helpful. It helped you guys with the entire learning process. Um, do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe, and take it easy. Peace.